Hey everybody, Maxwell here with HelpMeClose.com. We've got a special guest here with us, Saket Kumar, who is a LinkedIn personality, <laughs> to say the least. And um, a few days ago, I asked a question about what were the best Google Chrome extensions for helping us close sales. And Socket responded and he recommended Datanize. So this was a new Google Chrome extension to me. So I reached out to Socket and I asked him to share with us over at Help Me Close how we can use Datanize to close more deals and you know close bigger sales as well. So Socket, I'll turn it over to you. Thanks, man. Uh, thanks for having me, Max. So guys, what Datanize is, it's, uh, they're the leader in technographics. Uh, if you guys don't know what technographics, it's R, don't worry, it's a totally made up word. It's basically like firmer graphics, but just for the technologies that a company is using on their website. Uh, this is super useful if you are in SaaS or you're looking to uh, plug into a different type of uh, product. So I'm going to go ahead and go to salesforce.com because they use a whole bunch of things. Um, so in this case, you can see they have 118 different applications that are on their website. So this is the uh, Data and I Insider Chrome extension. It's totally free, so totally recommend getting it. If you go ahead and click it, the first thing you'll see is the home screen. And this is the firmographic information. So you can see uh, where the company is located their phone number if you need it, as well as a quick blurb about what the company does, uh, as well as um, quick information, including the Alexa ranking, the, the revenue, employee size, and the amount of funding. Uh, and finally, you have all their social profiles right over here, so you can click through any one of these. Uh, you also have their website, but the way the Chrome extension works is you need to be on their website to see what they're doing. Mm -hmm. And let me go over to the more important and the, the heart of this application. It's the technographic, so you go ahead and click this. And now you can see every single application uh, uh, segmented by the type. So we have ad servers, analytics and tracking, CMS, uh, chat services, uh, data management platforms, email, everything, frameworks. So what's really awesome about this program is you can see which programs are being used at Salesforce. So if you do have a competing product, this would be a good way to know who you're going to go uh, compete against so you can tailor your pitch uh, towards that. So if you have any benefits against their incumbents, that's a good way to, to talk about it. Uh, another thing is if you see any things that you actually plug into, for example, uh, let's say for example, I'm just like going through this right now. Hmm. Let's say, for example, I had a plugin into Gmail and I was selling that. So now I know because Salesforce uses them, it makes sense for me to reach out to uh, Salesforce if my product plugs into Gmail. Um, in most cases, you know, if, if you have an Outlook plugin, you can reach out to people who have Outlook. You know, it doesn't make sense to reach out to people who don't have the products that you uh, yeah. need to build off of. So in other words, it helps you qualify the prospect before you even reach out to them. Yeah, so you can have a lot more intelligent conversations. It's mm -hmm. not like you're going to be reaching out to them like, hey, are you currently using Gmail as your email uh, solution? You should already know all of this information before you reach out to your yeah. prospect. And then you also mentioned, Socket, about um, being able to see your competitors and, and uh, go into a little bit more detail about how that would be useful for, for someone closing deals or, or going after you know, Salesforce. Yeah, for sure. So uh, like right now we're looking at the online video platforms. Uh, my mm -hmm. friends at Vidyard are going to totally hate me for this. But let's say you're at Brightcove or Wistia, right? And you think that Brightcove or Wistia is a better product than Vidyard. Uh, you know exactly what to say uh, coming into this. Like, hey, do, do you see that Vidyard's having these issues? And mm -hmm. if the person says yes, and you can solve those issues, uh, it just makes it a lot more intelligent, uh, a lot more intelligent and a lot more reasonable to have that conversation. Uh, another cool thing is if you decide to get the paid version, is you can actually see when someone signs up for a product. So let's say, for example, these guys have signed up for Vidyard last uh, or today. You know, maybe in like nine months, you start reaching out again. Uh, because let's be honest, no one's going to get out of their contract unless you're going to buy it out. But you can start building that rapport at a much more reasonable amount of time instead of reaching out every you know, month or so and uh, getting the same answer. Wow. That, that's pretty big. Yeah. So, it saves you <laughs> just, a lot of time and makes you really smart. Yeah. So let me, I'm going to say that one again because I think that is just huge. 
So on the paid version, you can see when somebody signed up. Yeah. So you know when they're renewing their contract, when to start going after making your pitch. Exactly. So, so like if, it's, yeah. if your competitor tends to do like one year or two year contracts, you know that's when you should probably be reaching out unless your company has a, uh, something in place where you buy out contracts. Cool. Are there any other you know, cool tricks or tips that you would recommend to, to use this tool to help us close more deals? Yeah, so uh, another thing that you can think about is look at the types of products that they're using. So for example, if you're, if you're looking to sell enterprise grade software, you can see what the company is currently using right now. So if they're not using other enterprise grade software, they probably don't have the budget for you. Uh, mm -hmm. On the flip side, let's say if they're using a very, very small, um, small tool. So instead of using, uh, I believe they're using Eloqua. Uh, let me just find that again. Ah, so much stuff. So they're using Eloqua and Perdot, right? Those are two big enterprise tools. So if you're selling something that's a, not as robust or doesn't cost as much uh, as those two products, you're probably not a good fit for this company because of what they're currently using. You have to be on par, if not better. So it lets you know who you should be reaching out to. Are they in the uh, same budget? Uh, another thing that you can do, and this, is a, this definitely takes a lot more strategy involved, you have to see all the products that are in there right now and mm -hmm. see if your tool is a complementary tool to the rest of their uh, data, their technographic stack. Uh, that's a little bit more complex. It's, uh, it takes a lot more time to like, see through and you have to really maintain your Salesforce and your Salesforce database. But mm -hmm. with a tool like this and the paid version, you can do that. Yeah, and that's huge because, I mean, nowadays with all the tools that we have, I think the more you can research a prospect before going in and making a pitch or, or you know, just talking to them in general, the more information you can get, the, the higher chance you have of closing that deal and, and earning their trust and earning them as a client. So I think that's huge. Yeah, absolutely, man. Like, um, if, if you have Danize or any other tool like this, you need to, you need to come into a conversation with a lot more knowledge about your prospects. Because if you're still asking them like, Hey, what kind of marketing tool are you using? And that information <laughs> is there and available for you. It just shows that you didn't care. You were lazy. Um, like I literally showed you all three marketing tools that they're using in, you know, under five seconds. Mm -hmm. So if you couldn't take the five seconds to do the research using data Nice insider, uh, for the company that you're reaching out to, uh, just don't even make that call. Don't even send that email. You're just going to sound stupid. <laughs> <laughs> yes, frankly, frankly, they will sound stupid. So, well, thank you socket. Thank you for taking the time and sharing this, sharing this with us. Um, we appreciate it. And again, everybody, make sure that you, you go download the extension, uh, check it out, use it so you can be more strategic when going after prospects. And also be sure to check out Socket on his LinkedIn and also his YouTube channel um, where he's got a lot of great content coming out. Thanks, so, thanks Max. Again. Yeah, thanks again, Socket.